What is up, YouTube? It's your boy J Ray Got Kicks, and I'm back with another video. Um, today's video is going to be a video that I wanted to make uh, each shoe individually for, but I decided, you know what? Since I've been gone for so long, I guess it's somewhat of an update video on a couple of sneakers that I decided to pick up. Now, a couple of these sneakers were definitely, definitely steals. For the most part, they were. Um, I have four new sneaker pickups that I've gotten in the realm of two months, two to three months. So we're going to start off with number one, the number one grail sneaker that I've actually picked up from uh, one of my boys were these. I'm going to go grab them. 2013 Shadow Ones OG All um, in amazing condition. Now I did wear them like three times, four times since I've gotten them. Um, they are really, really good condition besides some minor heel drags when I gotten them. But I did these creases when I wore them. But other than that, they were in really good condition. I would call them VNDS. Um, they're OG all with the box. So that was really good. Um, the other shoe, let's get a closer look. These don't really have that much creasing on the left shoe compared to the right shoe. As you guys could see. Um, I actually picked these up for a steal of $80. Um, $80 is amazing price for these because on StockX, I believe they're going for like $350, I believe. Uh, these are not the 2018 because the 2018s are going under retail or retail. But for $80, like I, it's crazy. Such a good steal off my uh, buddy. So he, he really hooked it up there. Another steal like <laughs> I know I got lucky with these two shoes and it's hardly hardly you could ever find a steal as the um, shadow ones, but I actually found another sneaker for $80 and on StockX now I know these aren't the most popular Yeezys and you guys said wait Yeezys for $80 yeah, but these are not the most popular Yeezys. Uh, these are more of just like, it took a while to sell out on Yeezy Supply and Adidas.com. And keep in mind, these are OG all too, in amazing condition. I would rate them probably worn once or twice, but I've worn them probably like two times since I've gotten them. And these are OG all, like even down to receipt. So these are it. The Power Phase Calabasas gray colorway these are in really really clean condition like i love the leather on them is so plush so so nice like i don't know for 80 dollars like it was a crazy crazy steal come up um they're really really nice a nice summer shoe considering that it is 2018 summer and yeah i haven't actually worn these in the summer which is surprising i gotten them i believe like a month ago two months ago the beginning of June, I believe. But look, OG all look down to the box, size 10. I'll show you the receipt. I have a pair of beaters in there. Just but look, from Adidas. Retail was 120. As you guys could see, Yeezy Power Phase Calabasas 120. I paid $80. Even down to like the paper and the tags which you could see the chip in there with the light i believe i don't know if you guys could see that but you could tell these are authentic down to, to the receipt the paper everything and for 80 dollars such a steal uh the next shoe we got uh the next two shoes aren't as hyped but at one point one of the shoes were hyped up uh and these are the ultra boost five year anniversary now at one point these sold out and it, it was such such a crazy shoe it, at least for me it was um due to the fact that it is the five year anniversary for ultra boost but ever since like adidas been popping out a lot of colors like boom 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 too many colors these started to go on sale i picked these up for 160 but there's a story behind these. I didn't pay $160. I actually went to the Adidas outlet. I'm gonna tell a quick story so you guys know the background of these. 
I went to the uh, Adidas outlet store and I bought a, sh a pair of Ultra Boost for $80. They didn't fit me, so I decided to bring it to a regular Adidas store. Basically, the Adidas store uh, in my mall scanned them and they're like, oh, you have a credit of $190. $190. I paid $80 for the other pair of Ultra Boost. So I got these these were 160 and i had some store credit over i decided to get a sweater uh which is over there on my uh rack so i'm not going to show you that but i technically paid 80 dollars for these and a sweater which blows my mind um i love the color bright hit of yellow these are actually ds i haven't worn these i'm trying to save them for school and it seems like i'm actually going to be able to do that uh yellow insoles I just tried them on to see how they would look. I have them laced up really nice. And for, like I said, again, $80. $80 is my lucky number. I've just noticed that. Like, I've been getting lucky with $80 with all these steals, but crazy. So the next pair of shoes isn't as hyped. Uh, in fact, nowhere near hyped. There's literally, they, they're on sale every uh, store you go to, but you know, I decided since it's summer, I want an all white shoe. I decided, you know what? Let me just pick these up. They were at Marshall's for 40 bucks. So I was just like, you know what? Why not? So these are uh, the Prestos Uncaged, I believe. In that all triple white colorway. These are really clean. I did wear them probably like six times since I got in them. Obviously, as you know, for the most part, um, Marshall's doesn't give a box at least for the clearance section because I did find these on clearance I think original price was like 60, but they were on sale for like 40 bucks So I did wear them. They did get dirty So I took some Jason mark and you know scrubbed it in as you guys seen in my other video I don't know if you guys seen it, but I did a Roshi run um, You know deep cleaning and those came out amazing and I did the same for these, but I did get some other wear out of there. So the midsole does have a little dirt. And yeah, but these are actually comfortable. Like people are sleeping on the shoe. Like I get it that there's no hype, but like for the price, then now they did have multiple pairs sitting in my Marshall's clearance section. And it's such a comfortable shoe. Now, I, I don't know if you would compare it to uh, Ultra Boost or Boost in general, but for a Nike shoe, like in my opinion, this is more comfortable. If we're comparing Nike, this is 10 times more comfortable than the Roshi runs. And I know at one point Roshi run, Roshi ones or Roshi runs were like in style. And at that point, the most comfortable shoe out. But I don't know, like people are sleeping on this. I don't know how the other Presto cage Prestos feel, but these hug your feet like a sock and just i don't know if it's the midsole or maybe the insoles that they're using but it's such a comfortable insole and all together for 40 bucks like i had to like once i tried them on they were really comfortable um so all together those were my four sneaker pickups uh in the matter of two months 2018 summer it is as of now July 14th and yet yeah, I actually did I actually have one more sneaker coming in now I copped these off of Yeezy supply it is the utility black Yeezy 500 now if you guys want me to make a video on that just comment down below and I will definitely if not then I'll still make the video regardless because that is my first Yeezy 500 and in my opinion the best colorway out of the three uh, because there is the uh, super moons and the blush color I think I might depending on how I feel about the utility blacks I think I might cop the blushes because those are so nice but in my opinion the utility blacks go with everything but they should be coming in this Tuesday and I I'm so excited. I think this Tuesday, the 17th of July. So I'm so happy to get those because I copped them for retail. Now, you guys are sleeping on that shoe. You guys are so, I think on Yeezy Supply, you can still cop them right now. Like, it's crazy. It goes through my mind. Like, you guys are sleeping on this shoe. Like, 
I get that it's a dad shoe and the dad trend, but if you can make the shoe work, I would suggest going with the shoe because an all black colorway, you guys cannot go wrong. But that's besides the point. I will get into that video when I have the shoe. I will be unboxing them because they're still shipping in, like I said. So that's going to be it for today's video. Top four shoes that I've copped in uh, summer 2018. And that's going to be it for you guys. I uh, hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another video. Peace.